Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome to another edition of Deb's Musings. Today I want to share a memory with you. It's my own Christmas story, so please stay tuned. This time of year is a time of love and fellowship, laughter and friendship, sharing memories, good foods, and so much more. But it's not like that for everyone. Back in the fall of 1994, the father of my four sons walked out of our lives. I was consumed with doubts of my ability to support my sons as a single parent. I was so stressed with the struggle of paying bills, deciding which bills I could let slide for a month and which had to be paid immediately. I was on the phone constantly explaining my situation and asking for some leeway. As Christmas approached, I worried about how we would get through the season, barely making ends meet as it was. I should mention I did try to get financial help from the boy's father. His response was to quit his job, so he didn't have to pay anything. Anytime I had a decision to make, I would call the boys together and we'd discuss it as a family. It may have been too much to put on the boys' shoulders at this time in their lives, but I felt I had no other option and they needed to understand the gravity of our situation. This was a couple weeks before Christmas, but I desperately needed to talk to the boys. How was I going to tell them I just couldn't afford the extra mouth to feed in their adored dog, Max? The boys discussed this. There were tears, but the two older boys, being in their early teens, decided they would find Max a suitable home. They found a wonderful farm outside of town that wanted Max. Each day was stressful, constantly worrying about how we would make ends meet over Christmas. Coming home from work, I found a large box on the front porch. The note attached said, a gift of love. I opened the box and there sat a huge frozen turkey. I was gobsmacked. This was the most treasured gift I had ever received. Sharing this with the boys, we were all blessed with the love shown to us in our time of need. This in itself was a powerful lesson for my young sons. A few days later, I found another large box on the porch. I opened the box after reading a similar note saying, enjoy with love. In the box were all the preparations for an exquisite Christmas dinner. I just sat on the porch and let the tears flow. My heart was filling with such joy and thankfulness it overwhelmed me. I was even finding it hard to breathe. These were incredible gifts that would make our Christmas perfect. But in the shadow of such joy, I still worried about making my payments. The week before Christmas, I went to the bank trying to get my deposits and payouts to jive. Something just wasn't right. I had more money in my account than I should have had. That was a worry, thinking I forgot to pay someone. Asking the teller to make a printout of my account so I could look closer. On the printout, there was a notation that simply said gift of love. And beside that, a $400 deposit had been made into my account anonymously. I just stood there in the middle of the bank and wept. The bank manager invited me into her office. We talked and I told her of how my week had been filled with blessing after blessing. She smiled and handed me an envelope. I gave her a questioning look, opening up the envelope, only to find it full of cash. Again, I was so overwhelmed, the tears came. The manager explained to me that each Christmas the office takes up a collection and then decides where they think it would be best used. My name came up. There was $247 in cash collected and gifted to me. Even though this was a difficult time for me and my sons, 
It was the most memorable, love-filled, awe-inspiring experience I have ever gone through. Having come through that time, I have many times since been able to pay it forward. Sometimes we find ourselves on different ends of this scenario. It's a wonderful lesson in love. Nothing can bless you deeper or more profoundly than helping someone who really needs it. This is something we need to make a part of us on a daily basis. So until next time, this is Deb Temp signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and share some love out there. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.